Yeah, good day to you, my viewers. In this video, I'm going to give you more prospective questions as regarding YX 2023 mathematics paper. Please kindly sit back and watch this video from the beginning to the end. Share this video with all students that are around you that are preparing for their 2023 YX. Share with them so that they too can benefit from it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video on this channel, like this, majorly like this, you're going to have access to it easily. You're going to be among the first set of people to have it. Thank you so much. Let's have question number one. Yeah, let's have question number one as it is stated on the board. The diagonal of a rhombus are 10.2 10 cm and 9.3 cm long. And we are asked to calculate and correct to one decimal place the perimeter of the rhombus. Take note that rhombus is a special uh, parallelogram in that it has all its sides equal. Okay? So, and let's have this. Let's have it on the board. Solution. One thing. So we have said to be nine point three centimeter. Okay. And if this is ten point two centimeter, it does mean that from here to here, from here to here is a uh, five point one centimeter. Okay. And if the whole thing here is 9.3 centimeter, does mean that from here to here is half of 9.3 centimeter. That would give us, so we have 4.65 centimeter. Okay? So, and if this side is x, it does mean that this side is x, and this also is x, and this is x. Okay? So, with, all what we need to do is to find one x, one side. Then with that, we can use that to find the perimeter of the rhombus, okay? Now, with Pythagoras theorem, since we have this and this with Pythagoras theorem, don't forget that the point at which the two diagonals uh, intersect form angle 19 degree to each triangle that you have, okay? So, you have four right angle triangle. Pick one and in apply Pythagoras theorem to get this side. So I'm picking this this triangle now, so that by Pythagoras theorem, x square will be equal to uh, 5.1 square plus 4.65 square. Okay. So x is equal to. Of course, you have to apply your. I mean, use your calculator here. This is 5.1 square. Okay, that gives us uh, 26.01, okay, plus 4.65 squared. So we have 21.623, okay, and if you add it up, plus 26.01, so you have 20, x squared to be equal to you have x squared to be equal to 47.6325, okay? And take the square root, so you have x to be equal to, by taking the square root, you have x to be equal to 6.902, okay? 6.902 centimeter. This is the, uh, this is the value for one side, okay? And if the whole thing is having four sides, yep, it does mean that the perimeter, and of course, all the four sides are equal, does mean that the perimeter will be equal to the perimeter of the rhombus of the rhombus is equal to four x which will give you four into brackets, the value of x, which is 6.902, okay? 27.6, which will approximately give you 20, okay? 27.606, which will approximately give you 27.6, don't forget, to one decimal place, okay? 
So there is 7.6 centimeter. Okay? And that's the final answer. Now, let's look at question number 1B. We are given sine x to be equal to 3 all over 5, such that angle x is less than 0 degree, greater than 0 degree, and less than 90 degree. Okay? Now, we are asked to find the value of 5 cross x minus 4 times x. So, in this case, the angle x that we are talking about is a complementary angle because it's greater than 0 degree and it's less than 90 degree. So, and such angle could be found in a right angle triangle. So, let's have a right angle triangle so that the right angle triangle is, the right angle is here. So, we have the uh, other two angles to choose from. Okay? Let's choose this angle to be angle X. And if this angle is angle X, and we are given sine X to be equal to equal to 3 all over 5. It doesn't mean that sine X is equal to 3 all over 5. Okay? Sine X, which is opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? And from this now, we can find this side. We can find this side. Okay? Let's call this side side Y. And uh, by the applications of Pythagoras theorem, we know that 5 from this triangle now, we know that 5 squared is equal to y squared plus 3 squared. And making your y the zero formula, y squared is equal to, in order to make your y the zero of the formula, y squared is equal to, um, that's 25, of course, 5 squared will be 25. So 25 minus 3 squared, which is 9, okay? And straight away, you have your y to be equal to square root of 25 minus 9, that would be just 16. And straight away, you have your y to be equal to 4. So therefore, you have this side to be equal to 4. Now, with this information you have, you can find the value of this expression, okay? Therefore, therefore, 5 cos x minus 4 tan x will be equal to 5 into bracket, what is cos x in this same right angle triangle? Cos x will be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 4 all over 5, okay? 4 all over 5 into bracket 4, then open bracket, tan x will be uh, opposite over adjacent, okay? Tan x will be opposite over adjacent, that is 3 all over 4, okay? And looking at it, you have uh, 5 cancelling 5, you have 4. And the 4 times me 4, you have minus 3. So, therefore, you have 1 as your final answer. Okay? Uh, we are giving this diagram as we have it on the board. Okay? In the diagram above, QOS is a diameter. In other words, this line is a diameter. And you, always, you, you know that diameter divides, always divides circle into two equal parts. Okay? And... The angle enclosed by RQS at Q is equal to S degree. Also, the angle enclosed by QST, QST, sorry, QST at S is given to be 3S plus 15 degree. And we are asked to find the value of X. That's question 2A Roma figure 1. 2A Roma figure 2, we are asked to find the angle, angle enclosed by RSQ at S, R, S, Q, at S. So we have to find this angle. Okay? We have to find this angle. That's question Roman figure 2. I mean, Roman figure A. Question Roman figure, question 2A, Roman figure 2. Okay? So, to start with, let's start with question 2A, Roman figure 1. By finding the value of X solution. Okay. To find the value of x, recall that a stereo angle of a triangle is the what? Is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Okay. Now, this is an exterior angle of this triangle. So we have 3x plus 15 okay, degree to be equal to x degree plus 90 degree, okay? Plus S degree, angle S degree and 90 degree are the opposite interior angle to this exterior angle. And 
with that, yeah, you can write your reason. Write your reason. You can write your reason exterior angle. Exterior angle and close it. Okay? Then you have three x. This implies that three x plus fifteen equals to three x degree. I mean sorry, equal to x degree plus nine p degree. Okay. Sorry, three x degree plus fifteen degree equals to this. Then collect the light time you have. X you come here and reduce this to 2x, then you have this go the other way so that you have 90 minus 15. That will give you what? That will give you 75 degree. Okay, so that your x will be equal to 2 divided by 75. That will be what? That will be 37.5 degree. Okay, so that answer question number. 2a Roman figure 1. 2a Roman figure 1. Let's look at 2a Roman figure 2. Okay. In 2a Roman figure 2, you have to find the angle enclosed by RSQ at S. Oh, you have to find this angle. You can do it. There are two ways you can do this. You can do it by finding the stating the sum of angle in a triangle. The sum of angles in a triangle. Now, of course, that is 8, 8, I mean 180. You can as well do it by taking the sum of angles on the straight line, okay? Okay, that is this angle plus this angle, which will be equal to 180 as well. So, let's have the sum of angle in the triangle. So, we have 180, which is the sum of angle in the triangle, 180 degree equals to x degree plus 90 degree plus the angle we are looking for, which is a uh, uh, angle enclosed by R, X, Q at S, okay? So that you make R, S, Q angle S, angle, angle enclosed, you make angle enclosed by R, S, Q at S, the subject formula now. So that's what we are looking for, okay? Equals to 180 degree, 180 degree, bringing everything back, uh, bringing everything to 180 degree, except RSQ. So you have minus X, okay? Minus X, uh, plus 90 degree, put in brackets. But we have determined X, but X has been determined to be equal to 37.5 degree. So therefore, you have to substitute in x, the value of x, so that you have uh, 180 degree minus uh, 37.5 degree plus 90 degree. And that will give you 180 degree minus uh, this with the 127.5, okay? 127.5. Degree. So you have to use your calculator. Use your calculator 180 minus 125.5. Sorry, 120. 180 minus 127.5. Okay. So that will give us 52. That is equal to 52.5 degree. So that's the final answer to question number 2A from figure 2. Now let's take question number 2B. In question number 2B, we are given this number. We are given this number. Uh, we are given 2N for into base 7 equal to 15N into base 9. And we have to find N. Okay? We have to find N. To do this, you ordinarily know that numbers are generally put in base 10, okay? So, to do this now, we have to convert the whole thing to base 10. Convert this side to base 10 and the other side, the number and the other side to base 10. Then, as the process, we will be able to get the value of N, okay? Now, let's do that. So, you have 0, 1, and 2, 0, 1, 2. Okay? That's the position of each digit in this number, okay? So that, 
going by the way of multiplication, you have two times that this will imply that two times the base, which is seven, raised to the power two plus n times seven raised to the power one plus four times seven raised to the power zero equals to one times the base, which is nine raised to the power two plus five times nine raised to the power one plus n times nine raised to the power zero. Okay, so. The next thing is to uh, do, let's have the uh, expression, the whole equation simplified now, okay? So that 7 raised to the power 2 will give you what? That will give you 49. And 49 times 2, that will give you 98, okay? That will give you 98. And 7 raised to the power 1, that's 7. 7 times 7, that will give you 7n. You have 7n. 7, 7 raised to the power 0 will be 1. 1 times 4 will be what? 4, okay? Equals to. 9 raised to the power 2 will be 81 times 1, that will be 81, okay? And the 5, 9 raised to the power 1 will be 9, 9 times 5 will be 45, okay? 45. Then 9 raised to the power 0 will be 1, 1 times n will be n. So, the next thing is to collect the like terms, okay? And bringing n from here to here, it will become uh, minus n. Minus n plus 7, that will give you 6n. Okay, so you have six n equals to this, and this will give you one hundred and two. That is ninety-eight and four. We give you ninety-eight plus four will give you one hundred and two. One hundred and two and eighty-one plus forty-five. That will give you what? Eighty-one plus forty-five. That will give you one twenty-six. So you have one twenty-six minus one hundred and two. Okay, so that this will imply that. 6n is equals to um, 24. Okay? So it does imply that n equals to 24 all over 6. Therefore, n is equals to 4. Okay? n is equals to 4. That's the final answer.